I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I'm normally um, attracted, or I, knew, I usually comment on some unusual wordings or things that are um, a little different in the text of the Torah. But as I was reading uh, the book of Exodus, someone, something struck me in uh, chapter 10, uh, verse 22, when it talks about the plague of darkness. Not in the text of that verse, because the verse is pretty clear. It says there was a thick darkness upon the land of Egypt for a, per a three-day period. Pretty straightforward. My observation is in Rashi's comments. He, said, he asked the question, why did God bring the uh, plague of darkness? He doesn't ask this question on any other plague. He doesn't ask it about blood or frogs or locusts or, uh, or the death of the, the firstborn. Why darkness? And he goes further and he says that a majority of the Jewish people did not want to leave Egypt. They had such a slave mentality that they would rather stay in bondage and slavery and oppressed rather than risk going into the desert and possibly dying um, out there. That level of depression, the, the Egyptians had completely broken um, their will, destroyed their spirit. Um, the slave mentality had completely enveloped them. So what does that have to do with the darkness? Those people, they say up to 80%, died. They died and they were buried, and, but the Egyptians didn't see it, so they figured, so they couldn't say, oh, well, this is, this is oppressing the Jews too, so, you know, it's no big deal, we're both suffering. Um, but we have, a, we have a big lesson in this, that um, there's a reason why every morning we say in the prayers, Shalom Asani Avid. God has not made us a slave. He has not made me a slave. Um, whether or not we're literally slaves, and, and there were times when we were literally slaves, times in, in living memory. Uh, there are friends I have who in the Holocaust were literally slaves. Um, but we cannot forget that we are not slaves. Our only uh, subservience is to God. He owns us. He tells us what we do. We owe him our uh, allegiance, our obedience. And we cannot descend to the level of yush, despair, uh, hopelessness. This is the level at which the Jews, um, the 80% of the Jews, had reached. They were completely overcome by, uh, by the Egyptian uh, brutality and dominance and uh, a Jew does not belong in Egypt. A Jew is not a slave. He is not made a slave. He may end, a sla uh, end up a slave, but that has nothing to do uh, with our spirit. Um, it is antithetical to Jewish belief. Um, as Jews, we always have hope. We always have God. We always have trust. We always have faith. Amuna, faith, and bitachon, trust. We have to have it. And the consequences of losing that, of being engulfed in despair, are terrible indeed. Um, let us all free ourselves of all kinds of slavery in our lives. Slavery uh, to money, to fame, um, uh, to, uh, to addictions. Um, this, many things can enslave us. Let us break the bonds of slavery, whatever they may be. We're not slaves. We're not meant to be slaves. We're not made slaves. Our allegiance is only to Hashem. Let us learn a lesson. Um, and until next time, oh, we're going to be doing more videos. <laughs> a lot more videos. Uh, I, hope you, I hope you like them. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you find them useful and uh, inspiring or at least uh, thought-provoking and um, until next time on behalf of the Amuna project i'm daniel 
and thank you so much.